Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I am starting off my Fall Flowers Week with Embrace the Imperfections. And I'm going to use the Poppy Field stamp set from Altenew and Ellen Hudson, which is on sale this week. Links are in the doobly-doo as well as over on my blog. And this comes with some layering stamps. I'm just going to use the coloring stamps, the outline ones, and there's dies that come with it. Pick out some colors from my Prism Color Hex chart. You can use a lot of other different kinds of mediums to color a card like this one as well, but I'm going to use my Prismas. I wanted to use my Stonehenge. I love this paper. This is the one that I used in the Jumpstart class. And I bought some of the warm white to see what the difference was. So I thought I'd show you. It's just a little bit on the yellower side, the creamier side from the one that I had recommended for Color Pencil Jumpstart. They also have this colors pad. I wish they were more darks in there. There's a, a pale gray. This tan is a little bit on the darker side, but the rest of the colors are super pale. So there's not much color difference to them. I was hoping there would be some richer colors and maybe even a black in the Stonehenge would be fun to be able to do some coloring on, but there you go. So I am going to use my Misty to have it help me do some stamping, and I wanted to reduce the area of coloring. I've done this in videos before, where I'm just gonna create a rectangle and I'm gonna keep all the coloring within it. Some of my flowers will pop out of it, some of them will stay within it, but I'm gonna do some super simple masking. You don't always have to get crazy with the masking, and on this one, you're gonna see how easy I'm making it. It's going to make it imperfect. And that's part of why I wanted to talk about embracing the imperfections. But here, only one little tiny corner of one little tiny petal needs to be masked out. So why cut out that whole thing? I'm just gonna put a sticky right over that petal so that when I stamp it, those lines are masked out. That's it. And I'll do the same thing through the entire little design here, adding different flowers. Some of them will spill out, as I said, some of them will stay within. And then I can touch up any lines that I goofed up in my stamping with a pen, just using a regular old Sharpie. And then I'm going to draw my own stems in, kind of looking at what the direction of each flower is and would that stem actually show. And then I can start coloring. And a lot of people that like freak out when it comes time to fixing something with a pen. They're like, somebody's going to see that I, I messed that up. I didn't draw it right or whatever. And I, I want you to just relax when you're creating. I've noticed something lately among crafters and a lot of my followers and things. I've gotten emails from people. I've seen comments on Facebook and videos and things about people stressing out about not being perfect. And they color out of the lines and they get upset with themselves or they can't accomplish something, they can't master a technique and they freak out. And I've even had some people who've been going through my YouTube videos <laughs> to point out every error I've made. And there's a few of you who know who you are. That is not necessary to do for, for or to anyone because art is not about perfection. If we wanted perfection, we would just take photographs. But we are creating things. And making art is all about relaxing. Relax and enjoy yourself. If you are either watching a video in order to critique it, or if you are creating in order to critique yourself and trying to be perfect, then you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> this is not a relaxing way of approaching things. And I hope that what I put forth to you is that that you should really be enjoying this and I want you to enjoy yourselves instead of stressing out over things. And sometimes I leave an error specifically on purpose because I want to let you know that that's okay. I don't always point it out. Sometimes I do. Sometimes you do. <laughs> but I'm not one of those perfectionists out there and I, I don't want you to develop those kind of tendencies if it stresses you out. Now, there are some people for whom trying to be perfect is their thing and if so, please just keep that to yourself and don't critique your fellow crafters on their work in that kind of a way unless they ask for it. If they want that kind of feedback, yes. But most people just want to have that art appreciated. So for my flowers, I'm going to use the same color on all the flowers. I'm just going to use a solid green in the background of all of it to fill in the block. 
and I'm using techniques of layering my colors from the Color Pencil Jumpstart class. And if you have taken that one, you will recognize all of the layering going on in these. I'll even add one more color. I had a, a color set planned and it didn't have enough contrast, so I am going to add one more color later on at the end. And you'll see that develop as, as things go. And I really wish I could color this fast. Wouldn't that be nice? Except I wouldn't have all that wonderful relaxing that I've got to do while I was making this card. Um, one of the things I would like to do is start supporting some charities again in a couple of different ways. And what I'd like to do with this particular video and this particular stamp set is have you buy the stamp set and I'm going to ask Ellen for a report on how many were sold using my affiliate link and I'm going to make a donation for each one of the the stamp sets that sold to a charity that teaches art to young children and I haven't looked one up yet I will have that on my blog by the time this video goes live so you'll know who the funds are being donated to but I really feel like children are at that tender place where they should be really encouraged to create. If they wait too long to create, they get all self-conscious and critical. And I want to support that kind of work. So I'm gonna make a donation for each of these stamp sets that is ordered. So if you would like that one, then please do. And remember that all of the United We Flourish are gonna go out of prints. They're not gonna make any more. So if you've ever wanted one, now's when you should get them. They're all linked on my blog. Now, I have added a couple layers of cardstock on this because I messed up on a few others, so I used them as backer layers. And I've used these really thin power tabs as the dimensional adhesive between them because they're so thin they work great. But my sentiment panel was not exactly even. I had my sentiment way too far to the left. I was going to trim it off and then I went, no, I wanted to cross the whole thing because I didn't like how dark that one flower got. So I was trying to fix that and then I ended up with this thing that had a ribbon that was not in the center, had this little twine on it, and I have another gap. So now what? Well, I decided to embrace the imperfection and find a, an elegant solution to it, which is to put a tone on tone punched heart in there. And it solved the problem and it looks like it was all intended. Nobody's gonna know I messed up on my card. And I just relaxed and enjoyed myself. And I hope that that is enjoyable for you to do the same with your own cards and your own creations, whatever artwork you're making. There's another video with this stamp set that you can click on at the end of this video if you want to see a way to watercolor these flowers and purchase a stamp set and raise some money for a charity, which will be very awesome. I will have more videos all seven days this week. I have lots and lots and lots of fall flowers to share with you, so make sure you are subscribed. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Click on the link in the doobly-doo for links to all the stamps I'll be using if you want to make one purchase at the beginning of the week for all the flowers. Bye-bye.